Things are getting pretty heated. No pun intended. The golem, not the actual golem. <laughs> Chadolkin's golem, bro. That, he, that fire thing went away so quick, but Kirito was so cool in doing so. He had that whole like, what is this? He was doing like this kind of pose and then the mental image I think was thinking back to Aincrad days as the black swordsman. So his entire trip also changed and like a beam attack. So sick. And then Quinella basically does release recollection. I'm like, oh my god, of course she can use Bankai too with all the different weapons in the room. Created this like titan of swords, right? And then what happens? Cardinal shows up. Cardinal one shots it, opens the gate, immediately one shot. And then there's a bit of sad story with Charlotte the Spider and how, you know, our AI is real, it's a simple data input output, but they still long for feeling. And it's very interesting how all these AIs, even Quinella, they all just seem to want to know what love is. And there's this deep, and it's not even specific to SAO. Anytime you do science fiction with AI and stuff like that, futuristic shit, it's always like these beings that humans created that are not organic, that has some level of intelligence trying to realize like, what is my purpose? Like, what does love mean? I don't know, but hey, I think that we're about to fight Quinella. Let's begin today's reaction. <laughs> Like, it is so aggressive, the amount of Quinella fan service that has been for the last four episodes. I'm not even mad. I'm just like, just shocked that she's just been hovering naked the entire four episodes. <laughs> Even the finger placement like that too, bro. Like, Jesus Christ. The one who oversees all programs. Yeah, I mean, you are the admin, but you're not a dev though, you know? You're simply an admin. The people above can still pull the plugs. But she says that she's confident that the full load test and all that shit, she's got a command to stop it. Like, we'll see. The command. What is the command? Dark World? Did she just use domain expansion? Damn. Today's title is literally just called Administrator. You know she's gonna get real. <laughs> Disconnected the address. We're in limbo. Dagger. I don't know. I feel like the example is... It sounds like we walked into a trap. Quinella somehow still has... A system call that can still prevent everything. I, I I don't know. I feel like we are the rats right now, though. True. But she's admin. She got hacks. What do you mean? Three nights? Four. Four people against 300, not including me, because this basically 300 people's worth in combined into one, right? <laughs> All that, yeah. <laughs> no. No. They are all fodder. They exist just to be cattle. Administrator Quinella does not give a fuck. <laughs> See? <laughs> she don't care. I'm a ruler. Like, Kikoka would also just be fine like this too. Kikoka like 300 AI humans. Like I don't give a fuck. Do whatever you want. Kikoka and Quinella both, you know, treat these AI NPC humans as just trash for separate reasons, though. Like, Kikoka probably thinks that Quinella is also just trash. Like, at the end of the day, they are all just AI. Not the same value as an actual human life. You got a better one coming? 
I didn't handle that nasty stress test, right? The full load test that they were uh, talking before. <laughs> because she's talking like this, now I'm kind of stepping back on her, you know, being on the dark territory side to double dipping, but... I guess her goal at the end of the day was just utilize this the humans, huh? And make these golems, these soldiers that can fight without, you know, talking back to. Better than integrity knights. That makes a lot more sense. Yeah, but there's no longer gonna be any humans left. Well, she said half of 80,000, I think. I think. <laughs> I don't know. Even if you've broken the rule that only allows you full control of a single sword goes back to Kirito dual wielding potential as well, right? But clearly she did it because she's got hacks. Kirito, I feel like, can also do that shit, huh? Kirito will definitely be able to dual wield when, you know, I'm still expecting release recollection from both goddamn swords with Golden Eye Kirito happening. That's gotta happen near the end. Damn, the theme of love again. She takes the love though, right? There was a whole theme of like, what is love by Yu-Gi-Oh? It's not just simply transactional, right? It's continuously giving and receiving and, you know, overcoming that shit. Quinella will never know love. It, it's like so ironic, maybe a little bit pathetic, very poetic how she probably desires love the most, but she can never get it because she's so power thirsty, right? You don't know the rules, so am I allowed to spoil? Well, you're gonna go on another fucking detention. I'll see you in four hours this time. But... Quinella is such an ironic character because the pursuit of what she's doing and trying to take other people's away. And like, she probably wants to be deeply loved, but no one will ever love her. So then, what? Will Kirito love her? Will Kirito be like, you know, I, I actually do love you, and she'd be like, No, you don't actually mean it! Is he gonna raise up Quinella? <laughs> What is it? I'm looking at the painting. What are they? Oh, they're all the memory. Oh, right. Because remember the, the PD module, right? The original shit. It's all up there. And we can utilize that to kind of substitute for the lack of love, right? シンセサイドを入すれば、それを疑似的な人間ユニットとして扱うことは可能じゃ。しかし、武装完全支配術などという高度なコマンドを行使することはできない。How so she doing it? じゃが、ルバーイは別じゃ。There's a lot of pseudoscience there, but at the end of the day, she doesn't need to rely on the love and the bond between the sword and the user because we're using the memories of the Integrity Knights and, you know, borrowing that shit. そういうことじゃな。アドミニストレーターよ。擬人格が望むのはたった一つ。記憶している誰かに触れたい。抱きそういう醜い欲望がこの剣人形を動かしている。彼らは今でも触れない。一つになれない。Shouldn't we just fuck up the ceiling? Like, could we not just destroy the fucking memory fragments? But if we do that, then those synthesis knights can no longer get their memory back, right? Yeah. That's basically, she's basically holding them hostage. Like, if you want to save the Integrity Knights too, right, and give them back their original memory, you can't just go around breaking that shit, the crystals either. <laughs> Bro saw and locked the fuck in there. <laughs> Closer. It's the debate of love again. What is it? It's 
その事実を知ってしまった。Bro, just that the look of Quinella has just been just insane. You can just tell how evil he is, man. その事実を知ってしまった今、お前には決して人間なら、人形の剣たちは形を変えただけの生きた。何カルノ、どっちがスモーピーシェットゥーだドア殺せぬ。キリトゴドゥエ。キリトドンケアコールブラッドキラーライナー。ニハクネノトキオツイヤシテチュツオネリアゲテキタガ。トヤラムダタタヨジャテオロカナなんて滑稽なのかしら。God, she's so この世界に。She's so evil, but she's so hot. I can't get over how. She, she probably has the best girl design in this show. Maybe I'll change my mind by the end of season four, but like, there's never been a girl as. Just. Maybe it's just because she's just been floating naked. And the down bat is overriding. <laughs> but she's actually a well written character, too. It's not just pure fan service. Her entire lore is fucking mind boggling. It's. It, it's. Yes, she is floating naked. But, like. There's more to it than just that. It's. <laughs> fuck. I don't know. この世界に存在する命なるものはすべて書き換え可能な人だとも食い狙いをアンダーワールドに生ける人々は我々が失って悲しみ喜び愛する心をなそれ以上の何が必要であろうか What the fuck? You going in there barehanded? わしの犬のたちの命は奪わんで That's so stupid and foolish. Why would you do this? How the fuck would you do this? You know she's not gonna keep her promise. She's evil. So, in a cocon joke, and okay, the tent on the Zamunara. So, now I'm in a ningo no goki of Fujinagara demo. Kisama no Kisama no Kokoromoto Nai Kyoku Yoga. That's right. Her storage is too full right now. Yeah, she doesn't care about the God station. All that shit's bullshit. But was she even like? I just this is so stupid. These verbal agreements are not actual contracts or pacts that have a consequence if you break them. Why are you doing this? I don't believe it. Not with that face, bro. Kirito, don't you have a plan? This is so stupid, Kirito. All right. Pinel armpit, though. A lot more armpit fan service today compared to the last one. Rip hat. Yo, girl, is there no other way? Bro, why are we letting this just just happen? <laughs> you know. I this is still better than a weird sexual assault online scene, you know? Cuz like I it, this sucks, but it's better than some creepy ass dude do some rapey ass shit, you know? Like I guess. Uh -huh. <laughs> like it is unfathomable how stupid this is right now. Like Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe this is all. There's a big plan at the end of the day. But like, if you seriously think sacrificing yourself is the way to save these three, it's like you're so fucking wrong. What is the power? Yeah, it's gonna be a long time. The crystal. 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 She is literally doing the Yamcha pose. Wait! Oh! I thought she fucking planted her feet there and landed. Not her leg, bro. She's so hot, goddammit! 
謝ることがあるお主にはあるじゃろう3人で So like What is the author thinking right now? That the sacrifice of Cardinal is gonna motivate us three to fight back against Quinella? Is this the author's way of taking the easy way out and getting rid of Cardinal before she would reset the whole world? She did pose that. I, I don't know. I'm just trying to understand, like, why did he do this to Cardinal? I don't get it. <laughs> Like, I guess it's just as simple as motivating the main characters, like, but it's just the way that it happened was just so bizarre. It's just so stupid. <laughs> Maybe Cardinal was too OP, yeah. <gasps> the fuck? It's that- Okay! This was- this happened- this is what I confused because I- th I, th I thought it was like, it was like, what was it? I'll be waiting at the top of the center cathedral. This did happen. I remember that shit. It was the blonde girl again, again, again. Yeah, 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 yeah. Cause like, I thought it was like a young version of Alice before, but what the fuck? Yeah, that probably is her memory. You're right. It's- it's her- Crystal, the origin that's been embedded up there, and you see the young Alice form, and that makes a lot more sense on how that young Alice was also. Well, how is it fucking talking beyond? Who cares about the mechanic? But that, I think that makes sense. What? Oh, it... Please use your remaining power to transform me. You, you turn into a sword? And then does Kirito wield you as a sword? What the fuck? Interesting? Yuji, you're calling us to be a swordsman, not to be a sword. Okay? Yuji, so not. Bokura ga koko kara nige tachi no hanbun o ano osoroshi kaibutsu ni kaete shima. Yeah, half of 80,000, yeah. Sono hige. Sore wa. Kono jutsu shiki no naka ni. Remove koa protection. Oh shit! He removed the condom again! お。お願いします。カーディナルさん、僕たちの絆の方が。え、ずっと is this specifically about metal? I thought that dagger was because it was just like an automatic barrier that happened, but okay. Is that his or is that Alice's? I don't know. It's, I mean, I'm still assuming this is Alice's core because it just looks like baby Alice because of blonde hair, but it could not be. I don't know. He posing. The blue rose. <laughs> Alice does something, play the soundtrack. <laughs> you she was combining with the blue rose? Oh. So like, his head is gonna be like the hill, like the, like the grabbing thing, right? And then this is the blade. So we're gonna grab Yu-Gi-Oh's head. That is like the handle. His arms is like this portion. And then this is his body upwards, okay. <laughs> He became a sword, man! Bankai!
Oh, I thought Kirito would fight with it. I thought that Kirito would actually like grab the sword and then fight against it. But I guess it's just the sword just going independent. <laughs> Goodbye, Cardinal. The Cardinal's just dead. Now we gotta penetrate her. I mean, this. I'm not sure if Yuji actually got in her before, but like, this is an opportunity to do so. Yes. What? If Yuji does this, then what? He dies? Whoa, 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 whoa. The craziest shit from the animation is not all the crazy fights going on, but like how Pontifex has hidden her nipples the entire time during the fight. Like the amount of wind blast explosions going on, and her hair is perfectly still placed, and like we have. Not a single leak, you know? Not a single wardrobe failure. That shit is fucking locked in. Genuinely impressive. Yuji, oh! Wait, we cut her though, we cut her though! What does that mean? If the blade shattered and the blade was Yuji, oh. Does his legs, did he, does he lose his, lose his legs now? I, I don't know. Yeah, okay, he's still up. Oh, that's bad. That's bad. Okay, never mind. Oh, he. Okay, he literally did get split in half. Literally, that the the, I, the the fucking rock here was hiding it. He's the sword broke in half. So did Yuji. -Oh. You can walk it off, buddy. Actually, you can't walk. The torso's cut off. Transfer durability. I don't think it's kind of. I don't think you can really do it at this point. Okay, we can heal the wound. We can freeze the wound. Bro, even the blue rose sword fucking snapping in half. We're cooked. Silver eternity. What did she cut? Oh, she lost a fucking arm for that. And what a silly mistake it was to simply assume that the sword was metallic, right? Because obviously the metallic thing that she has a guard against. She can just heal that arm back, right? No? No, she can't. I don't know why she's not growing it. But she just closes it off. Kirito still hasn't dual wielded yet. I have faith. Oh. <laughs> there, there it is. Wait, you're gonna fight with the arm? <laughs> I thought she was about to smack us up with her fucking arm. Or, or like she's about to attach it back to her fucking stump. But the arm can just turn into a sword too. Alright, fuck it. Kirito, main character time. Nah. Let's meet again somebody on the other side. Oh, she wants to be like Monica from Doki Doki Literature Club. She wants to escape. I thought that she was content with being God in this world. Because if you leave this world and actually have your Flucklight implanted into some sort of vessel, you won't have that authority. But... 
I mean, okay, she's saying she, I, this is alluding to her plans of surpassing the simulation. I, I'm not sure. <laughs> Yo, that fucking look. Oh, Alice! That look, though. That look. <laughs> Dude, that, <laughs> that look for Quinella. I must show. Oh, God! Alice! <laughs> Kaiba! Oh, my God, it's the same shit! It's the same shit! Yeah, Asta didn't do that. Well, what happened to the script? It's fine, let it happen. Just, just, just let, let Alice get slashed, then Golden Eye will activate. Just follow the script, easy. Oh, Cardinal. Charlotte! We got some bullshit power coming? Slow motion! <laughs> Oh my god, Alice is about to lose her fucking other eye there, bro. But hey, okay, main character's locked in. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, he's only useful when he needs to be. <laughs> Dude, Alice put in a lot of work. Here we go! Alice does something, soundtrack plays. This time, Alice closes her eyes, soundtrack plays. But like, what? I mean, there's a limitation of dual wielding that got explained, but I still think that like dual wielding should still happen at least once a season, right? And like, we have Alice's sword. Blue Rose Sword is no longer available, but like, I still expect the finale next episode to do dual wielding. And that's today's episode of SAO. We got one more episode until the finale, and today's episode was <sighs> down bad as usual with Quinella just floating naked, bro. And it, it is actually amazing how A1 Pictures is animating Quinella through these episodes, just hovering, levitating, just naked, just completely, just, you know, covering everything still. Cardinal's death pisses me off. I ain't gonna lie. The whole thing with Cardinal genuinely makes me fucking mad. The whole logic. Is it just to nerf her because she's too powerful? Is this the, supposed to suppo like give some sort of motivation for the roster characters? I don't know. Maybe one of those weak moments in SAO where the writing doesn't really fucking make sense. So no point you know, nitpicking about it. But it did kind of just feel fucking stupid, man. Besides that, uh, Yuji said, My calling is not a swordsman, I'm a fucking sword. He turned into a sword. And the fight was sick, but I think Yuji was pretty much done too. Is there any way to save Yuji right now like this? Like, bro got split in half. There is no durability transfer, bro. We gotta fucking transfer a whole set of fucking torsos. But at the very least, Blue Rose Sword did freeze the wound for now. So we'll see what the fuck is gonna happen. And that's it. We got one more episode left. I'm hoping GoldenEye dual wielding release recollection Kirito shows up and does this bullshit thing. And then we go into season four and that's it from me. If you're still here though, if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for more content. And until next time, take care.